we're gonna talk about self-sabotage and I'm going to be exposing myself but before we get into this video I'm gonna take a shower <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? I am back, showered, I smell good, I look good, I feel great. I'm in better mental health today. Um, I'm on my bed, I actually wanna move over some more since I'll be sitting, I guess, here. Yeah, here's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm in my room. My bedding is in the washing machine. straight hair so let's get on with the video self-sabotage that is what I wanted to talk about and I am basically gonna expose myself in this uh, video I've been thinking about it for a few days now and I was like all right let's just film it and see what comes out of it if it's great it's great if it's not it's not i'm kind of just trying to get more content out there and figure out who i am i have a lot of straight hairs on me i just picked my hair up and figure out who i am as a woman a little a uh, little disclaimer i am 23 i have graduated college about two years ago now yeah because i graduated in 2019 and we're in 2021 um i am employed right now um but i'm not happy like i'm not unhappy but i'm not living my best life either and i want to be more on the side of living my best life than just like like i don't feel content I definitely don't feel content but I know I could be doing better so yeah let's uh let's go I well you know what first let's talk about what self-sabotage is okay great now everyone knows what self-sabotage is um we're gonna talk about well first off this video is coming straight off the top of my head i have no outline so it's kind of just uh just gonna be me talking um we're gonna talk about accountability i i feel like accountability is extremely important when you are you know talking about self-sabotage and growth and where you want to be in life so personally I have no issue being accountable for my actions i know when i messed up i have no issue saying when i messed up um so yeah i could be accountable all day left and right like take for example my mental health has been poor the last two weeks just super poor and because of that i have been out of work for the last two weeks but at the same time my bills are due because your bills don't care about your mental health they just care about are we paid yet so i can only i can't i can be mad at myself but i can't be mad at myself because i am taking care of myself in terms of tending to my mental health but then when i receive very little to no money because of my lack of attendance at work for like two weeks when i know I have bills due that's no one's fault but my own there's no magical fairy godmother that is gonna be like oh yeah let's uh let's pay your bills let's do this and that like no let no honey no honey life does not work like that at all um you have to just you know live your life the only one who's gonna save you is you and if you recognize that there's a problem and it's a fixable problem then fix it <laughs> like my issue right now yes my mental health is better today is a better day it could be shitty within the next hour let's knock on some wood because i hope not i don't want to deal with that 
Um, but your mental health is a reflection of your physical health. Your physical health is a reflection of the way that you live your life. And you have to be accountable for all of that. If you know, okay, I'm not feeling too great, what do you do? You take a step back and you heal. If you have a cold, you're not going to go around 50 people. Well, some of you might. But if you have a cold, you're not going to go around 50 people and spread that cold. You're going to stay home and tend to it until you feel better. So that's my take on accountability. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is discipline, which ties hand in hand with accountability. Discipline is something I struggle with. Um... And I say that because I have moments where I am extremely disciplined and focused and on my shit. And then I have moments where I, I personally am my hardest critic, so I'll say that I'll get a little lax when really I need a break, but I won't allow myself to take that break. Um, part of me is like, oh, you don't deserve the break. And then another part of me is just like, nah, I keep working. You're not where you want to be yet. So in that sense, discipline is very important because your character is made on the days that you don't feel 100 percent. so you know you may not want to go to work go to work anyway you may not want to eat that salad eat the salad anyway you can do one thing and expect like a whole different result if you're doing something negative you really can't expect a positive result you know like you can't be like, oh, I want to lose five pounds by next week, but you're eating chips and, like, sitting in your bed all day watching Netflix. Like, no. Any initial weight loss, you know, that's water weight at first. So that five pounds might just be water weight that comes off, but that will motivate you to be like, oh, wow, I lost five pounds. Let me you know, eat a salad, or get more dark leafy greens, or, you know, have some more protein, depending on whether that's, like, meat, fish, beans, whatever your forte is, um, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, discipline is basically really important to achieving your goals, and without discipline, you can't do the next step, which is consistency. Consistency is also another thing that I struggle with. I feel like it also ties into boredom with me. Um, but, you know, if that's the case, you could say that I'm consistent at being inconsistent. <laughs> Calling myself out. Okay. Um, when you're consistent, it requires a level of focus. See, right now I'm getting like distracted with my hair. When you're consistent, you get the results that you want. Why? Because you, one, took accountability for your actions. Two, you remain disciplined because you created a plan to figure out, okay, I'm lacking here. I need to do this in order to get here. And through that discipline of sticking with your plan, you remain consistent. So, you know, that's really it. Like, if you're consistent... And you're making headway and you're doing what you need to do you will achieve your goals that you know you have set out for yourself and if not then figure out we went wrong recess and um get back to it i like to do self-assessments so basically what i mean by that is you take a hard look at yourself some people don't like doing that some people don't like being alone with their thoughts etc etc whatever i'm a very introspective person so if i messed up i messed up if i'm not doing what i need to i'm gonna do it um and i'm gonna just take a look at myself my self-assessment for what i did yesterday was okay like i know i want x amount of dollars in my bank account i know that right now i have this stream of income um i know that you know having multiple streams of income is the way to go but in order to have those multiple streams of income generate positive wealth i need to be consistent in my execution of those matters and that's the other thing execution is a very important thing in all of this because you can 
be accountable. You could say you're going to be disciplined. You could say you're going to be consistent. But if you don't execute anything, you're not going to get anywhere. So, yeah. Um, make a plan. Make a self-assessment. Say, I want to be here by this time. And, you know, break it down into smaller achievable steps. So, like, for example, you could say, I want to exercise more. That's general. Nothing wrong with exercising more. But you can break it down into something more attainable by saying, like, I'm going to jog three days a week. So that could be, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for you. That could be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for you. And I'm going to jog for maybe, like, 20 or 30 minutes. That right there is a very specific and attainable goal. Because why? You said you want to exercise more, so that exercise of choice will be jogging. You've already set aside the time, which is the uh, discipline of it, which is the three days a week. And the consistency of it is 20 minutes. So if you're consistent in running or jogging for 20 minutes, those three times a week, you will already have exercised more. And that's 20 minutes out of 24 hours. That's like cleaning your bathroom. Well... Maybe like a quick clean. I like to do deep cleans, but anyway, um, yeah. So all of this ties into self sabotage because if you don't do what you need to do, you're not gonna get to where you need to go. And it's really important. You are the main character of your life, and I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube about that lately. It's it's actually very fascinating to me. Um, so. You're the main character of your life you can either ruin your life and be miserable and upset about it or you can just take charge of it and be like yo i'm fucking up why am i fucking up and then you figure out what you need to do get on your shit and handle it because no one's gonna come save you you have to save yourself and it's hard i'm not saying it's easy i'm not saying it's easy at all but if you know where you want to get in life do it just do it and don't be like oh yeah i'm gonna you know do this one day just because it feels good in you in the moment like no you need to stick to it even when it's hard even when you don't want to do it even when you feel like giving up maybe when you feel like giving up don't i mean obviously don't but like if you feel like giving up just take a step back and breathe realign and focus be like okay i feel like giving up why you could just be stressed out in that moment so if you're stressed out just be like well did i eat today did i have water did i nourish my body um did i stretch if you're spiritual did you meditate if you're religious did you pray you know just maybe you need to take a bath maybe you need to take a shower maybe you need to read a book something something to de-stress you and align your focus maybe tend to a plant or play with your pet or if you have children take your kids to the park um safely though because we are you know pandemic but i don't know just don't sabotage your life when you know it's a fixable thing and if it's not a fixable thing, there's alternatives. I mean, not saying to use anything as an excuse, but like, you know what you can and cannot do, and then you know where you want to be and where you should be and all that stuff. So this is my TED talk. Um, like I said, everything came off of my head. I'm probably rambling at this point, but I hope you enjoyed this video hit that like button and if you want to see more hit that subscribe button make sure you turn on the notifications bell links will be in the description below where you can follow me on my other social medias i'm very very active on instagram and i hope to upload another video soon Peace.